All right, friends, I'm back again. So I have to like say that I feel like every time I come on here, I either <laughs> look like I just left the gym or I'm dressed like I'm going to bed or I just woke up because typically that's every time I brush my teeth when I wake up and when I go to bed. So I'm not always getting gussied up to stand here and do a video to show you a toothpaste or a floss or something when I'm actually in the act of doing it. So if there's any snorting behind me, it's the little dog um, making his typical noise. Today, we're gonna talk about another kind of floss that I, I got and used. I've used this in practice. I've never bought it personally, but I did this past weekend. So Dr. Tongue's Smart Floss, excellent floss, similar to Coco Floss, because that's always been like my go-to for a few years now. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's actually a paper. I didn't know that. It's a paper container, so there's no plastic. Interesting. Did not know that. But because, um, again, like I said, I never bought it. I've used it in private practice. I've never bought it myself. So what I like about this compared to Coco Floss, it's still thick. It still expands when it gets moist and wet. And then it you can pull it to be thin, and then it'll puff up when you relax it in between the teeth. Um, I really like this because it shreds less than Cocoa Floss. Cocoa Floss shreds a little bit more. I have gotten Cocoa Floss stuck in between people's teeth. I've shredded it and I've had to like thread with other floss to get the pile of floss stuck that I got out. That, this has a huge tendency not to do that. So I'm going to floss my teeth and show you what it's like when I do this. So I'm going to pull out string that I feel is long enough you can't tell how much that is but <laughs> it's fine so again when you floss you always wrap around your middle fingers more on one hand less on the other clean floss wind up the dirty so that when you stand there you look like this you bend these fingers down and you always have these two fingers to floss control and you can use these to manipulate I've seen people wrap around their index fingers and they're fumbling. It's a nightmare. So middle fingers always fold down and wrap. So here we go. I'm sorry. The dog's a mess. So I, you can start wherever you want. So this is my implant. I can wrap around that one. One thing I want to note here is, like you can see this floss, it gets thick because that got wet because it was in my mouth, so it gets thick. So if you pull it, it's tight, and then you relax it, it's thick. So this will get in between your teeth. This is good floss because it's not slippy, it's not covered with Teflon. The Teflon floss is so slippy, it just slides around the teeth. It doesn't grab anything. It doesn't grab bacteria, it doesn't grab food particles, it just slips all over the place. You want a floss that has some thickness to it. A wax floss will have some thickness to it. Dr. Tongue's will have some thickness to it. Cocoa floss will have some thickness to it. So you want something that's got this because this stuff is gonna grab the food debris and actually move it out. So the one thing I wanna note here is you always wanna go on the very back side of your back tooth. You know, again, this is where water picking comes in. You guys have all heard me talk about the water pick, how great it is, because people always say my fingers don't fit in my mouth, they're too fat, they're too whatever. Then you can't do this, and I wouldn't recommend doing this. Is it a fantastic tool? Yes. But if all you can do is this, do it. If you can't manipulate to get down under the gum and really hug the teeth, then... Just try to get in between the teeth, but your back tooth. That's what you should be doing on the back. So I'm now I'm going to go to the top. Done. So I want to make note of a couple things. When you're at the dentist and we floss your teeth, I know you guys are watching me and you can see me like move my lips out of the way. You don't need to do that. 
I don't even need to do that to myself. When you're at the dentist, it's totally unnecessary. We have all the tools to move your lips, your cheeks, and your tongue out of the way. We don't need your assistance. Um, I've had many patients, I'll floss, and they pull the floss out. I'll be down here, and their tongue is pushing it out. They push it out. They push it out. I don't need the assistance. None of us need the assistance. We are managing the floss and doing what we need to and getting down under the gum as we're supposed to. You tensing and making it work gives me less room to work. So while all in all this is to talk about Dr. Tongues, I can't help to sell myself to show you like a little lesson. Just relax. You know? If your lips are relaxed, I can move them. They're not going to get pinched. If you tense them, then they have a tendency to get pinched or caught. I don't need you to do this and make it super tense because then this gets rigid. When you're tense, this tightens. When you relax, I have way more play with things. So you could see like this floss is kind of thicker. It's thickened, but it didn't shred one bit. The cocoa floss I could have shred, gotten to shred in one or two spots, but... I really love this floss. I mean, this is like superior floss to me. And I have a ton of cocoa floss because I've bought a bunch and it just takes me forever to go through it because I usually use my water pick. When my water pick's broken, I had to er I had to order new parts. So I've had to floss multiple times a day in the last couple of weeks till I get my new parts for my water pick. Um, so this is a great alternative. So my point is with this whole thing, this is a great alternative. It's Dr. Tongues. It comes in this paper container. So it's not a plastic container. So again, if you're like eco-friendly, this is your stuff. But again, it's a good floss. It's thick. It's easy to get in between the teeth. You have to remember that it's easy to get in between the teeth. It's not difficult. Because it's a thick floss, everybody has a perception that thick floss cannot go in between the teeth. It's simply not true. You just have to wiggle it back and forth gently. Don't ever force it in between the teeth. So you don't snap it in between the teeth. That's not what you're supposed to do. Pull it taunt, slide it in between. If you wrap it around your middle fingers, no, I'm not flipping you the bird, but you can see, you know, you get little marks in there because I was pulling that so tight in some parts. But when you pull it tight, that gives you, it stretches it so it's super thin. Then you can wiggle it in between the teeth. You always want to hug the teeth, wrap them like a C. You want to go down one side and clean the tooth, come up and over and go down on the other side. So when you're in the back teeth, you think to pull to the front and then push to the back. When you're in the front teeth, you're going to pull to the left and go to the right. So that's how you should be thinking about that. I have a flossing video. You can certainly watch that to help you out. That's my floss, my uh, Dr. Tongue's floss. So I hope that helps. And thank you for being here. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.